Sheboygan Area School District voices support for mascot law, reward being offered in Stephen Avery case, Sheboygan Memorial Hospital goes into lockdown during mental health crisis. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, September 10th, 2019. He is not getting a new trial, but the attorney for convicted killer Stephen Avery is hoping a reward will catch what she calls the real killer. Kathleen Zellner said that she has $100,000 for the person who can find whoever killed Teresa Halbach in 2005. Avery is serving a life sentence for the crime, and last month, Avery's request for a new trial was turned down. Avery was hoping for a new trial based on evidence that he claims was not properly examined. A judge, though, turned down Avery's request for a new trial based on questions about how investigators handled the bones used as evidence in his 2007 murder trial in Calumet County. The judge said Avery did not prove that his rights were violated, and Avery has been fighting his life sentence for killing Halbach back in 2005. An armed man having what police described as a mental health crisis prompted a lockdown for about two hours at Sheboygan Memorial Hospital on North 7th Street. Police say they were called out to the crisis situation at around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. The man was initially armed with a gun but later surrendered the firearm and was taken into custody. No one was injured and no word yet on possible charges. The incident is still under investigation. A sentencing date has not yet been seen or been set, but a former vice president of Sheboygan Co County Chamber of Commerce Board is guilty of child sexual assault. 62-year-old Steven Steinpress of Plymouth was found guilty over the weekend of repeated sexual assault of the same child and was found not guilty on a charge of exposing genitals to a child. The charge of repeated assault is a Class B felony, and he could get up to 40 years in prison and 20 years extended supervision for that crime. Prosecutors say he has sexually assaulted a young family member repeatedly over the course of five years, exposing himself and inappropriately touching her. According to the Sheboygan Press, Steinbris had been on the Sheboygan County's Chamber of Commerce Board since 2011. He also owned the Bowling Pro Shop at Anchor Lanes in Elkhart Lake since 1981 and ran the Sheboygan County Bowling Association for about 25 years. By a vote of 7-2, to two, the Sheboygan Area School District Board has voiced support for a resolution that would prompt the state legislature to legally ban the use of Native American mascots statewide. Current law requires that 10% of a district's population sign a complaint before action to change an existing mascot will be considered. But the Wausau School Board has asked the Wisconsin Association of School Boards to lobby for an outright ban on Native American school mascots and logos. Just over 7% of Wisconsin public school districts still use Native American mascot symbols, images, logos, or nicknames. Sheboygan South High voluntarily changed its nickname from Redmen to Red Wings in 1993, and Mark Mankel and Marsha Reinthaler, who voted against supporting the Wausau resolution, note that there is no need to remove local control, citing South High as an example. Hurricane Dorian has gone, but its effects have not, and the American Red Cross needs your help. Blood donations were interrupted by the storm, and the call is out for all blood type donors, but type O and B blood is especially needed to replenish supplies. Good Shepherd Lutheran Church 
in Plymouth will host a blood drive from 11.30 to 5.30 on Thursday in Sheboygan. Donors can go to the Sheboygan Trades and Labor Hall at 11th in Wisconsin from 10 until 3 o'clock this Friday. Those who would rather donate money can visit Red Cross Dot org, or you can make a $10 donation by texting the word DORIAN to 90999. And finally, it is no secret that tourism has been an ever larger player in the area economy. And recent figures show Sheboygan County visitor spending had the largest increase among all of Wisconsin's metro areas, 7.65% from 2017 to 2018. That amounts to over $240 million per year. Visit Sheboygan's executive director, Amy Wilson, highlighted the growing tourism scene in the State of Tourism presentation to the Sheboygan Common Council last month. While sports tourism has high visibility, Wilson said that Visit Sheboygan is paying attention to a less visible but growing segment. Visit Sheboygan's new visitor center will open next April just north of the 8th Street Bridge and among other things will eventually host a research vessel that will further cater to the growing market for environmental and cultural tourism. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.